welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome to the family. My name is Dina. I am so happy to have you guys here. I am so excited because the Dreamy Moons Tarot just came last night and I just cannot wait to share this with you guys. But we are going to jump into the tarot. We're going to do a walkthrough. I'm going to give you guys my opinion, my review on the deck. I'm just so excited. It is gorgeous, guys. You are in for a treat. So let's hop into it. So first of all, we can actually see the box is a pretty large size, very large in comparison to her other decks. This is about the size of her other decks. This is one of her Oracle decks that I have. It's absolutely beautiful. I love how there's literally gold foil on everything, guys. Every single card has so much gold foil. It's so beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that says, let the magic begin, dot, dot, dot. So cute, I love it. All right, so this is magnetic, which is nice. So when we open this up, we actually have a little, almost like a poem here and a dove. It says, abundance is my birthright. I evolve and grow. I trust the divine plan and go with life's flow. My heart is healed and open. I'm present in each moment. I love it. <laughs> They're like little glimpses of poetry throughout this whole thing. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then we have this beautiful card here, which actually came in like this. So it's a love letter from Annie. So cute. I love how she puts little love letters with each of her creations. And yeah, the back is a piece of art, which is absolutely beautiful I'm definitely gonna hang this or put it in my room somewhere on display but it says let the stars lead the way isn't that so beautiful I just love her art so much yeah and then we have the tarot guidebook here so this is gilded and so is this and we've got little hints of like stars and stuff I'll actually zoom in a little closer so you guys can see a little bit better so the guidebook looks like this has about the creator contents Dreamy Moon's Tarot. Dreamy Moon's Tarot came from a place of sincere love and divine inspiration. It was an incredibly spiritual, fun, and fulfilling journey bringing this deck to life. I held it in my hands before I even created it. I thank the universe for bringing me this vision for I knew exactly what this deck will look and feel like. From then on, all I needed to do was complete a number of steps to take this deck out of my mind and bring it into this material plane for you to hold. I love it. I won't read everything, but I just love, Annie has such a way with words. We've got how to use, we've got different spreads, and then it goes into all of the cards. So let's hop into the cards because we all know that's what you guys came here to see. So we do have like a little ribbon here, which is nice. So you can easily pull them out and look at that guys. They are absolutely beautiful. They're gilded gold. Isn't that so nice? Oh, I love them so much. All right, so let's dive into these cards. And I will kind of like hold them up here and there too so you can get a better glimpse of them because you can kind of catch them at different angles and see different details. But um, yeah, so we have the Fool. Oh, and the backs. Look at these backs. Aren't they just so gorgeous? And then we have the Magician. I love this card. The High Priestess is absolutely gorgeous. Then we have the Empress. Look at the rose. Like her just popping out of that rose. I love it so much. She just puts so much detail into her cards too. It's just, oh my god, I love it. The Emperor. I love it so much. The Hierophant. The purples in these cards are absolutely beautiful. Oh, and don't mind my nails. They decided to all break on me. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so they don't look very pretty in here, but the lovers the chariot and we have unicorns instead of horses I love it the strength card I think the rainbow is so pretty the hermit the wheel of fortune now this is the one thing I was disappointed about because this card's actually damaged on the back. So things like this happen sometimes, especially when you're an independent publisher. Because Annie wants to do all the like gilded gold and all that stuff, she has to stick to an independent publisher opposed to going like, you know, um, mass market like Hay House or, um, you know, all the other ones <laughs> that are not coming to my mind right now because it's very early. But um, I actually, I sent her an email about this to see if they can send a replacement card. So I can't see why not. Other than that, they're pretty like in good shape and stuff. There's a couple little tiny imperfections with the gilding and stuff, but that usually happens with gilded edges. 
they um, they're not perfect and when you shuffle them they tend to like chip a little bit at least all the cards that I've ever had have had some chipping and wear with shuffling but it just happens justice and now let me just give you kind of like a close-up if I can of the card see as it catches the light there they're just really cool I hope that you're picking up on all the details we have the hangman here and I love how the leaves are just all these different bright interest interesting colors you know I just think it's so cool death isn't that like one of the most beautiful death cards you've ever seen I love it temperance The devil. This is one of the coolest devil cards I've ever seen too. I love this. I love the dragon. It's so pretty. The tower. The star. The moon. The sun. Judgment. The world. And before I flip this, Annie actually added two bonus cards. So instead of the standard 78 cards in the deck, you actually get 80 cards. So the two bonuses that she decided to add in the deck are the self. And actually, I'll, um, I'll give you a little brief summary of what they are so you have an idea of like what they're about because they're not the standard cards so let's see so the self the keywords are ego introspection and your story the affirmation is I peel back the layers to connect with my true self so I won't read the whole thing but just to kind of give you an idea of what it's about and then the other bonus card she has here is flower of life which the keywords are sacred geometry the universe and creation and the affirmation is I am at one with the universe we are all one and then obviously we have the description there as well. Pretty cool, I like when creators add in their bonus cards. It just kind of changes things up a little bit. So the Ace of Cups is just so gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Like I just love the colors and I love the way she does the high contrast of the black with the bright vibrant colors. I just think it's so gorgeous. Two of Cups. Three of Cups. Four of Cups, Five of Cups, Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, I love the colors. Aren't they just so gorgeous? So pretty. Page of Cups. Isn't that just like the most gorgeous card? They're all gorgeous. That's the thing. Like, I'm like, I kind of have some favorites, but I kind of just love them all. <laughs> well, I definitely love them all. They're just so pretty. Like, every single one is so thought out. And I love when artists do that. And like, some Pip decks are cute and pretty too. And I think I have, I have like one Pip deck. Um, but I'm not a pip deck person. Like I love when artists take the time to individually, you know, illustrate every single card and every detail. Like it's just, I know it takes a lot of time and work, but it can be done. <laughs> like it's just, it's so beautiful. Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. I love the shell. It's so cool. King of Cups. And then we get into the stars. So the stars in Annie's deck is actually pentacles. So she changed a couple of the suits, so I'll get to the other one after. But um, yeah, so stars are pentacles. So we have the ace of stars, the two of stars, the three of stars, the four of stars, five of stars, I love this cave, it's so cool. Six of 
six of stars, seven of stars, eight of stars. Isn't this just like, like I want to be her. <laughs> I love this card so much. Like I just vibe with her energy. I love the cauldron. I love her hair and the stars around it and just like the potion bottles and oh I just love this entire card so much. Isn't it so pretty? Oh my god. I love it so much. Also, I didn't mention the cardstock, but the cardstock's nice. Like it's fairly thick. It's good quality. I love the shape and the size of the cards. Just for reference, this is the size of her oracle cards. So they are significantly smaller which I like, like I like my tarot cards to be more tarot sized. So I am definitely a fan of that. Nine of stars, I just love the bird. I love the parrot in this one, I think it's so cool. And you guys know I love birds, so. 10 of stars, such a cute family, I love it. Page of stars, also isn't this dress just so fabulous? <laughs> It was funny because like this entire time that we were going through the deck, my friend Laura and I last night, we were just like just in love with every single dress in this deck and we we're like, can Annie start a like clothing line now? And knowing Annie and everything she stands for, it would be a sustainable clothing line. Like I could totally see it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I love it. It's so pretty. Night of stars. Queen of Stars. I love the rabbit. I think it's so cute. King of Stars. Look at the little mushrooms. I love all the details. They're just so nice. There's just so much imagery in all the cards. And then we're on to the wands. So we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Two of Wands. I just love the color contrast. So gorgeous. The Three of Wands. The Four of Wands. The Five of Wands. Six of Wands. I like this take on the like the victory card, you know, because usually there's people marching with the wands and they have like someone on a horse. And as you can see, this deck is very Rider Waite Smith, but definitely with an Annie flair, which I absolutely love. Um, we have the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Wands with a beautiful eagle, I believe. Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands, Page of Wands, this is another dress and like also her hair that I love. I love the colors here, so pretty. Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, I love how there's also curly hair representation. Like her hair is actually like, it kind of looks a little slimmer to mine. I love it. <laughs> and we've got a little cutie there. King of Wands. Oh my goodness, I just noticed this. Every single detail down to the rings on his hands are there. I don't know if you guys can see that from there. It's really hard to get that close to the card, but so much detail. Like there's even like markings on his face. Like he's got like face paint or like body paint or something. That's so cool. All right, and then we're on to the crystals. So in this deck, the crystals are actually the swords. So we have the ace of crystals, the two of crystals, three of crystals, Five of crystals, 
six of crystals. This one's a little bit scuffed, but it's okay. Seven of crystals. Eight of crystals. Nine of crystals. Ten of crystals. Page of crystals. Again, I love her dress. I love how it looks like a little twister in the back. That is so cool. Knight of crystals. Queen of crystals. And then the king of crystals, which I kind of just want to put them side by side for you to see. Because I love how like the kings and queens tend to match in this deck too. And they both have like a crystal throne in kind of similar colors. I love it. It's so cool. It looks like they're actually ruling beside each other. Let's give it the first shuffle, guys, right on camera here. See how it feels. Nice. They're sticking a little bit. That's bound to happen with a brand new deck. I'm trying to get you guys in frame. Yeah, it's bound to stick a little bit with a new deck. That's just what happens. Also, another thing to be prepared about, like I mentioned before, is that gilded edges do tend to wear out over time. Ooh, seven of crystals. They tend to wear out the more you shuffle. So you will notice some like wear on them. Um, actually, some of them did come a little bit, like the gilded didn't quite go over the cards the right way so there's like one card or a couple cards that have like no gilding in this one spot um sometimes that happens like gilding is never perfect and it does wear so the best way to prevent a lot of wear in your cards is to be gentle with them like just shuffle them lightly don't be too rough with them don't do like the riffle shuffle thing like that is going to definitely wear down not just the edges but it's going to wear down this part like the gilding on the actual cards so if you want to avoid that definitely keep it light and gentle that's the best way to go all right guys that is the dreamy moons tarot thank you so much for joining me in this walkthrough i had so much fun i am so excited to just like play with the cards now that i've done this video honestly everything annie makes is absolutely gorgeous like so beautiful so carefully planned out and like she puts so much thought and time into everything she does i'm actually wearing one of her necklaces on the front there's mountains with stars and a moonstone actually a rainbow moonstone in the middle and then on the back it says i trust my journey and it just felt so fitting especially with where i am currently in my life i actually had my eye on this necklace for a really long time since it first came out and recently everything's gone on sale and i believe she said that like once they're gone, they're gone. This is like the last batch. So I'm like, okay, I need to get this necklace before it's gone. It is beautiful. She amazes me every single time. And just when I think I've been amazed, the maximum amount of amaze that I could be, <laughs> she creates something like this. And I'm just like, Annie, like, oh my God. Yeah, if you guys are interested in buying this deck for yourself, I will be sure to link it below so you guys can order your own. I believe they're still in stock. This was a pre-order, so I got it fairly soon, but um, there's definitely, I think there's still more available. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up because it really does help out my channel and it lets me know that you guys like this type of content. And don't forget to subscribe because I put up new videos every single week and not just tarot reviews. I actually do so much stuff on my channel. So if you guys are new to the channel, I do a whole bunch of different spiritual type videos. I do videos on witchcraft and you know, I share my practice. I share different spells with you. I do a lot of videos about like mental health related stuff because my practice is very tied in with mental health and you know self-empowerment self-improvement things like that so if that is something that interests you then make sure you guys subscribe and i'd love to have you be a part of our family magic unleashed it would be amazing to have you here i hope you guys have a beautiful day or night whenever you're watching this and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye guys